You might think Portugal, you might think Spain, but did you know some of the best wines on the market come from Italy? Mm, I, yeah, I, I actually yeah. would think that, you yeah, know? Right. Yeah, we like an Italian red, right? Mm -hmm. A bottle of red, a bottle, bottle of white, white, right? Marcy Jones is getting a chance to tell us about some of them at Harvest Wine Bar in West Hartford, eh, Mars? Hi there, that's absolutely correct. We love an Italian red and we also love an Italian tall drink of water, which I'm standing next to. This is my new friend, Simone Piazzo. Good Excellent. morning. Good morning. Or buongiorno. Buongiorno. Right? Yes, We're gonna have a little right. Italian lesson in between our live hits. We are talking about something that is very close to your heart and this is your family's winery and your wine business. So let's talk about Piazzo and all of the fabulous wines that you distribute. Uh, well, yeah, Piazza is a family business, mm -hmm. and it started uh, as a dream of my grandparents during the 60s. Uh, yeah, they managing a very poor area, so okay. they, they were really young guys, uh, young farmers with a dream to do something uh, more. Okay. And uh, at today, a third generation, me and my brother, along with our parents, uh, are still running the business, so I think they did something that, uh, uh, so they oh, that's still so nice. uh, showing. Yeah. I love that it's still going on, it's still a tradition. We are starting with one of your whites. What do we have here? Uh, we started with a um, very niche wine. Okay. It's called the Arnaise. Okay. Uh, Roero is the area where it's produced. It's a very oh, small okay. area. And what is that like? terrain-wise? Uh, is that good for growing grapes? It's very good for this specific uh, kind of grape because okay. it's very rich in sand. Uh, wines uh -huh. that are very mineral, very okay. fresh. Uh, so that really comes through when you're tasting them? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. You can really feel it in the glass. Yeah, okay. absolutely. We got to try. Yeah, sure. it's, uh, I'm so excited to try this. And what would you pair this with? Let's do a little cheers. Cheers. Uh, this wine is a very universal wine. We're trying to, to do our wines uh, They can match a lot of different uh, dishes. So okay. this wine can be like good with uh, fish, uh, oysters, uh, chicken, some pasta right. risotto. But uh, I mean, uh, really, it can space from very different uh, kind yes. of, uh, of taste. A big variety. This is yeah. delicious. And Thank it's got a much. bite to it, too. Ooh. I like that. Ooh. Ooh. All right, what are we trying next? So next. Uh, we're moving on to red. Absolutely. Uh, we have three wines here that are made with the same grape. Okay. So the name here is Nebbiolo. Okay. And it's a name of the grape. Let's start with this one. Now tell us about this grape. What is this like? Well, uh, Nebbiolo, we can say, is the most famous uh, grape and uh, one that made the history of uh, a little bit of part of Piemonte, where we are. Most famous grape. Yeah. Wow. Absolutely. It has the potential of uh, aging for a very long time. We're okay. talking about. Uh, Thank uh, you. 15, 20 years or more in the best oh, vintage. Wow. Absolutely, yeah. Incredible. Yeah. And uh, instead, in this kind of version, we try to make it uh, uh, drinkable earlier. So we worked at different, uh, different way, but to show right. that uh, it can really be used for everything, just depending on what is your goal. Everything, like a breakfast wine, you know, it yeah, appears that, that's with true. everything. That's Incredible. True, yeah. All right, I'm going to try it. That's delicious. Mm hmm. Thank now, you what very much. Of, what, what would you describe in here? What do you taste? Uh, well, it's a very, um, to me, elegant, delicate wine. Mm -hmm. I feel that uh, some of our wines um, are going every year better because uh, we're yeah. trying to make them like, yeah, they can last. Uh, but it's so like you that can, saying, uh, like a fine wine, it gets yeah, better with time. Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, I want them also to be approachable, not too old. So yes. you can like uh, taste them when they're young and wait for them to, to age. So you can Absolutely. like uh, live with them, uh, see the, the evolution right. and the maturation of the wines. So. Now, I know you travel a lot for your job. Mm -hmm. What do you think of Connecticut? Uh, I love being here. It's yeah. actually... Uh, your voice got higher. I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> no, really, really. I mean, uh, it's... Uh, my first trips uh, in okay. the in the yep. states uh, were here, so I come here twice a year. Yep. And, uh, it's very exciting. Uh, yeah, you I get mean, to go uh, all different places and get to show what your family has worked so hard to build. That's the best part of the job, actually. Yeah. Uh, before I was the actual winemaker. Now I'm uh, helping more my brother, and okay, I'm traveling that, more. Yeah. yeah, we divide, we split. The, now, how is the that jobs? working with your brother? Do you like it? Uh, yeah, do absolutely. Do you guys butt heads ever or no? No, no, no absolutely or not. Do you because, open a uh, bottle of wine and then it gets worked out? Yeah, that's, that, yeah. that helps uh, for <laughs> sure. But uh, no, we get along absolutely. We have the same goal, we have the same passion, so right. uh, quite easy to. Oh, I love to make that. It, yeah. Excellent. Okay, I think. We have time for one more wine. Okay. And then don't worry, you guys. We'll get to the other two in the next segment. What do we have next? Uh, we're going to have uh, Barbaresco. So 
It's a, okay. s the, the wine is made with the same grape, so it's always Nebbiolo. Okay. But coming from a different area, take the name of this little village called okay. Barbaresco. And actually, the name Arge mm -hmm. are a mix of our grandparents and founders' name, Armando and Gemma. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. This I was the that. wine. Uh, why the winery was founded? This wine. Okay. And so we say, okay, we had to name this wine after them. Of course. Absolutely. Now, I know that we were trying to save him from doing all the dishes, so hang on. Oh my God, I love her. I love you, Marcy. Yes, there it is. <laughs> we love doing this before 10 a.m. here on Wine Wednesday. Absolutely. All right, I can't wait to try this one. Now, what is going to be the difference between this and the last red we tried? Well, uh, first of all, the difference are in the soil. That's where everything starts. Okay. So more structure, more clay, uh, a little bit less of sand. Ah. And of course, this helps uh, already having uh, grapes uh, that makes a wine much more structured. Is it going to be less minerally? Uh, yes, but okay. most of all, it's going to be more structured. You're going to be really more, more power in mouth. Oh, so you're gonna whoa, be, yeah. 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 That's de it's heavier. Yeah, and some more complexity in yes. the nose. Full body. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. There's a little wine lingo for you. <laughs> Guys, we're having too much fun <laughs> getting the wrap, so I'm going to send it back to you. We're going to be back in just a little bit here at Harvest Wine Bar with Simone, and we're also going to bring out some fabulous dishes, so stay with Ooh, us. Ooh, sounds Looking good. Looking forward to that. Thank you, Marcy. <laughs>